everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at a web diver toy. If you saw my haul video just recently, I've picked up a couple of web diver toys here. And this is the main character in the series, the Deluxe W05 Gladion or Gradion. Very nice looking um, um, fig. I do love his alt mode. It's a nice um, locomotive train. He's um, a very large robot. And one of the things that kind of interests me about this guy was the fact that he's in a video game there, um, video game console or whatnot. So you can just plug him into your TV and you can just start playing some games. And there's some other kind of cool features also with it. And I thought that was kind of unique that Takara was doing that. A little background on the series of Web Diver. It's about um, some young kids who go into the Cyberverse world. Um, they become Web Divers. They meet up with these robots or um, beasts that are called Web Knights. And they can kind of merge with them somehow or something to that nature. And they help protect this place called the Magical Gate from these viruses that are trying to take over. So it's pretty much the concept of the story. All right, back to this this guy. His packaging, very nice, a very large box. All the Web Diver toys come with their symbol on the box, which is really cool. Um, we see Gladion here is the Gladiator. Somewhere, usually on the toy or the beast uh, mode, you can see this um, symbol usually in the infrared area. Flip it to the side here, we kind of see that he can combine with some of the other Web Diver toys. And we can see he's got the two main game modes. Flip it to the back here. And we see kind of a transformation sequence. We see the same pics that we saw on the side. And another cool little feature is the fact that if you have him plugged into your TV and you have another Web Diver toy, through an infrared um, signal, Gladion will actually um, register that you have a certain character there and he'll display their bio and tech specs on your TV screen, which I thought was kind of a cool, unique idea. So, let's take a look at the fig now. Alright, here's Gladion in his alt mode. Very nice looking train. Real quick, this is going to be a two-part video first part will just be focused on the actual toy itself. The second part will actually be focused on the game, which will be pretty short because the game's pretty um, simplistic. So, But very nice looking train. I, um, I love the translucent purple plastic. A common theme throughout the Web Diver toys is the circuitry. In this case, it's a nice green color. It runs throughout the entire um, um, train mode and body of um, Gladion. I do love the fact that his um, the drive wheels there, all three of them actually move. It rolls very nicely. Nice chrome. Would have been nice if they would have put a little chrome maybe in this area. Just to make it stand out more. Let's compare them really quickly to some of my other train robots. Here he is next to Mike Gain. A little bit bigger. Same length though. And here's Avenger from the Brave of Gold Gold Rand series. A little smaller, but as you can see, it would have been nice if the chrome would have, you know, I don't know. So, another nice unique feature is the fact that he can actually house his sword, his weapon, underneath. Kind of dangles though, unfortunately, but which is nice. As you can see on the top here, we have the game control buttons, and then we have the actual AV port. So, all right, let's transform this guy. All right, to transform him, really easy. I'm gonna take out the sword, undo the front end here, so we can take this part off. There is a black button right here that you can just pull it right off. But if you want to attach it, just push it in. This will become one of his um, weapons later on. Or is it? Actually, it's shield. Okay, so from right here, I want to do this part. Flip him up, unattach this part. There you go. Hold this down. Push this around. Push that up. And 
place. Rotate his feet around. He's got a heel spur, which is nice because he is top heavy. Rotate that around. And in the game, you actually can transform him. And you can actually see the sequence um, on screen, which is really cool. We'll take his front end of the train real quickly here. We'll just transform it into his shield. There's a little handle right there. There. And take a sword. And there we go. There is Gladion. Alright, Gladion. Very nice looking. Let's put his mask down. We'll go over that later. But very um very cool um i love his robot mode here you can see that the whole gladiator um kind of theme going through his sword he got his shield here which is very nice but can be kind of a pain which i'll go over in a second here but you can kind of see the i don't know what this is called like this kind of a skirt thing or i don't know but even to the kind of the head sculpt that we see there the wings on the side and I do love the fact that if you've seen kind of some of the episodes of the show that's what it usually looks like so you get to see his face and then when he gets into battle just push that down you can kind of still see his eyes there which is really nice again circuitry very sweet the buttons are in a nice area that's not too bad. All right, let's look at his accessories really quickly before we look at his articulation. So, it comes with a sword, it comes with a shield. The shield is nice, fits the theme, but unfortunately, the handle is just way too small for his fist. He's got some great articulation with the actual fingers and his thumb, but his fingers are actually all connected and they can only go in so far. And so the rest of the um, kind of the way to clamp this on is to actually get the thumb to wrap around it. And it becomes very um, kind of a pain to actually get in there. So he never usually holds it very well. And it's a little loose here, but I can fix that with some like super glue or whatnot. But so that's probably the my biggest gripe about it's like if you're gonna go with this theme it would have been nice if you could actually hold the shield a little better you can attach the shield back onto his back right up here but then that makes him really top heavy and he tends to just fall over at a moment's notice his other weapon or accessory is his sword very nice one thing they could have done better was maybe put some of that circuitry in here we see it in the shield would have been nice if they could have done a little detailing of the end of the sword. But it is a dual weapon, so you can flip it around and it kind of becomes like a shotgun or something. So just kind of cool. I usually just keep it in the sword mode. All right, articulation with this guy. For a game console, which has a lot of circuitry, a lot of wiring, whatnot in the middle there, he's got a lot of articulation. No head movement, though, unfortunately, but. Rotation in the arm at the shoulder, in and out at the shoulder, elbow joint, swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, the um, fingers I already told you have some articulation there, leg movement at the hip, go up and down, in and out, double knee joint, which is nice, and you can hear that, it's got some nice ratchety joints there. So. 
All right, some comparisons really quickly. Here he is next to the leader class Ironhide. I was quite surprised that he was actually larger than a leader class. And here he is next to Buster, so you can kind of get a better size comparison. Gladion is the tallest fig in the um, Web Diver series. Not the bulkiest, but he is the tallest. All right here he is next to Mike Gain. Mike Gain's a tad bit taller, but not as bulky. And here he is next to next to some of his other. Um, Web Diver um, comrades, I guess. There's the Wyveron. Not too bad. Stay tuned for this review because he actually combines with um, Gladion there. Here he is next to the bulky Ditalion. I guess Ditalion is. Maybe taller. I thought, well, I don't know. Uh, Gladion actually was taller, but. And then lastly, here he is next to the really awesome Dragon with the almost two and a half foot wingspan. I can get them all in the picture here. So, not too bad. All right, closing thoughts on this guy. Um, really cool toy um, by Takara. It's just too bad that they focused all of it onto this guy for being the game portion. So everything else was just a support um, or a weapon or something that you had to have this no matter what. And um, that's just too bad. But good news for us now is the fact that he's dirt cheap. I got this guy for $40. And when he first came out... This guy cost well over $100. So that's pretty nice. He's got two great alt modes, a nice locomotive train. You can see his robot mode here is just really nice. He's larger than a leader class transformer, and for 40 bucks, um, that's a lot of bang for your buck in my eyes, um, size wise. And he looks good. He looks good on the shelf. Um, the whole color scheme looks great. As far as the Web Diver series, um, if you guys are thinking about collecting that, just be warned, they can range from really easy and inexpensive to very very hard to find and can cost you upwards to a hundred dollars or so depending on the quality and what you want with it if it's complete or not but um and mainly those guys are the ones that kind of showed in the comparison you know the larger figs are going to cost you a little bit more but they're really cool the the whole concept of the series is very nice um so that's about it. Um, stay tuned for part two, which I'll just focus on the game. So, um, And I'll be doing some other reviews here coming up, and I'll start doing some of the other web divers. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay tuned, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.